hey guys um yeah i look how i feel so <laughs> i've been studying and i just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the t's test the ati t's which is what um my nursing program entrance test is um and i have five books that i checked out from the library plus the two that i purchased plus an online program specifically from um, ATIs that um, created the test so I went straight to the makers of the test to get the study material the the five things that I um, checked out from the library are just other random ATI study books um, and then the first book that I bought which was like two years ago was this one and you know it's okay um, probably if I would have studied it a whole lot more I would have gotten more benefit from it I did study some as you can see I have all of my little uh, tabs but um, that's the one I studied for the first time I took the test and I didn't get the stool core that I wanted. And so then I went to the official, as you can see, the official ATIT's study manual. And this right here is what I've been using in conjunction with the program that's on the computer that I did pay for. And I honestly do not remember how much I paid for that. It was either like 50 or $100. It was in between because there's different packages you can get. And it goes all the way up to like maybe $300, $280 something dollars. Um, but I just, I didn't get the like full blown package. So just a few things that I wanna share with you um, as to, and of course I watched plenty of YouTube videos on it as well. So scientific reasoning, these are just some things I just wanna let you know that you need to be studying. Um, and they're gonna help you regardless getting into your nursing program when you're, you're in there these things are gonna help you um, of course you need to know your medical terminology um, and then you're just your basic structure of your body um, that's like the basic structure that's all high school stuff but um, <clears throat> the uh, terminology is something that we don't really cover or I haven't covered some of the professors at my college do kind of get into that a little bit um, but unless you take a specific class I think it's not really like anatomy and physiology class of course we had terminology but we didn't have it like like there wasn't a set things like this is gonna be your terminology test um, so it's just stuff that you really kind of have to know prior going into so <clears throat> that's that's a suggestion get a get a Tabor's medical dictionary and start studying that um, just Google stuff online like medical abbreviations whatever and you know you can even be as cheesy as I've been before and um, like make out your own little scripts using the abbreviations you know just kind of get in the practice of doing it and I no longer when I <clears throat> um, write the word with like if you abbreviate most people will say w dash and but the medical abbreviation for the for the word with is a C with a line over the dot. I mean, a line over the top of it. So that's just what I do. And everything that I um, do now, that's how I abbreviate with. So um, change, you know, if you do a change in something, whether it's a medication or a status in the patient, you know, that's a triangular shape. So and whenever I'm just randomly writing notes for myself, has nothing to do with anything medical, I'll use those silly little things like that um, just to kind of keep me on top of things and just so that because if you don't use it you lose it so you know just to kind of keep me using it um, anyway back to the ATITs scientific reasoning know it um, this is gonna I'm talking about the science section particularly right now um, because that's the one that I didn't do so well on and I, it really shocked me because I just I, was so confident going in because I had taken anatomy one at A and P one and I was in A and P two and I was just like, ha, ah, I got this. No problem. So, uh, yeah, slap in the face. Don't be overconfident when you're going to a test like that, because this took me back to like probably the first week of AP one in back of high school stuff. And I just didn't, I got, I was not expecting that. I was expecting more, you know, not as detailed questions like more about the body systems um hmm, i don't know anyway these are the body systems that you do have to know um going back to scientific reasoning you're gonna have to know your um of course anatomy and physiology was basically your just your structure of your body and your function the physiology of it um 
then a little bit of life science it will cover, and then some earth and physical science, not much. I'm thinking like less than five questions of those last three, the life, earth, and physical science. Not very many at all. Um, at least my exam that I did before didn't have very many. Um, so over the AMP overview, um, circulatory system, respiratory system, um, nervous, digestive, those are ones you're gonna wanna study. Study those now while you're getting ready. Um, and it's not gonna hurt you because it's gonna help you once you get into nursing school. Um, and just keep on, like just keep on reviewing your stuff. Don't, don't put it down and then not go back to it because then of course you lose it or you just forget because it's been a while since you've looked over it. Um, it will touch a little bit over the immune system, immunology and then reproduction, but not, not major. Um, it's kind of here and there, so. And then of course it's gonna have some chemistry. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, so you wanna know your le levels of organization and the simplest form is what, um, as to what I've been seeing, is down to the atom. Now it can go smaller than that, but the, from atom all the way up to, so atom, molecule, um, macromolecule, which is just big, bigger atoms, because mac is this large. Um, so macromolecules, organelles, um, then you have your cells, which are your basic functions of life, um, your functional units of life. And then you have your, of course, you go from your t tissues to your organs, to your organ systems, to your organismals. Um, organismals being the, the top thing. So the, hot, the top of the hierarchy. <laughs> um, then you have some four tissue types of your body. You know, your um, skeletal, I mean, not skeletal, <laughs> your epithelial, um, nervous, muscular, and connective, and then you're gonna know, you need to know the breakdowns of those. Um, just like it was in your A and P one class, like it's gonna be that detailed. Um, so simple and stratified, and then going into the, the types of each of those, review that. Um, on your nerve nervous system, you have your neurons and your neuroglia. Um, you know, your, your neurons send your signals and then your neuroglia supports and assists it. Um, you know, just, just recap all of that. And then you have your muscular system and then, I mean, your muscular tissues and then your connective tissues. So, um, yeah, I just, I kind of feel overwhelmed because I, I've had this for a few months and I had set a plan. I was going to do it every single day and then the holidays happen and, and then, I don't know, I just kind of got... I let things get away from me. And I think I'm feeling more frustrated and disappointed in myself for that right now. Like I'm on the verge of crying. Um, and then I'm battling, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs, which is my team, <laughs> um, are going to the Super Bowl, you guys. And I'm so excited. And it's like, I'm getting very distracted with that. And it's hard not to because, you know, when your home team wins, whoa. <laughs> so, um, and they will. They will win the Super Bowl, just so you know. Um, anyway, so this is what I suggest that you get. This is actually what everybody has told me. Now, this one, the first one that I did get, this ATI study guidebook, um, this this was highly suggested to me, so I got it. Um, I, I kind of didn't really like the way it was set out, though. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to use it because of all the practice tests that are in it, um, and, but it has a lot of information. Like, look at the thickness of this book compared to this book. So, I don't know if you can see that. Let me go from this end. So from this one to this one, yeah, it's the thickness is way different. Um, this one is almost double, if not, yeah, it's double. And you don't need that. You don't need all this extra information that you don't need. So when you are studying for any kind of test, go to the official makers of the test, see if they have study guides and use those. Because what I've been told by the people that study this book is that a lot of the test questions come, are almost identical. Not identical, but you know, in the same format. Of course, they're gonna change some things up, but um, these people make the test. And this is the test I'm taking. So this is, this is the one I want to study. Now, I'm using all of the other study guides that I got, all the other six out of my seven, I am using those just for the practice test, just to get used to the language, used to 
Um, just different questions. So I am going over those just kind of in my spare time. But this is the one that I am primarily studying. So if you can get this, I suggest getting this. And then the online version that I have of this is, um, what they do is you take a like a, a each section it'll give you each section to start with so like i did reading and you can pick out you don't have to do it in order like you do in the test like you can just pick out each section that you want to do so i started with science because that's the one i struggled with the most i went through all of those and then at the end of it it gave me assessment and then it gave me a way to study for the ones that i missed um it will tell you each questions i mean each answer to each question like why why that one is correct and why the others aren't um so sometimes it's a lot of clicking back and forth but it gives you per, the percentage like if you had 50 questions and you got 25 right obviously you got 50 percent so um it will you'll do the breakdown for you and let you know how many you missed how many you got right and you can go back to each specific question instead of going back through all of them there's like the way it pulls up a chart and then it has each one listed on there with like a thumbs up or a thumbs down and um you can just click on the ones that you want and it'll take you directly to that question um so a great resource and then it also has two practice tests i haven't taken i haven't taken the practice test yet because it is like the real test like it times you and everything and um so i'm just not ready for that yet i want to i want to study some more of the individual sections and i think i've done them all the reading the math the science yeah I think I have done them all. There may be, yeah, I did reading too. Reading, English, math, and science. So, um, somebody that I talked to the other day said, if you are bad in one area and good in one or two areas, really hone in on the areas that you're good at and make sure that you ace those because it will equal out. Um, I haven't specifically asked my school. There are some schools that won't allow the overall to be the score. You have to pass actually each section with a certain percentage or a certain number. Um, but what she was telling me is like, oh, if you do great on three and you, you totally fail one, the four scores are going to average out and then you'll end up still passing so um definitely look into your specific college requirements for your program as to what they do on that if that's true for your program then great if there's one that you're really struggling in just ace the other ones and if you bomb it you'll be fine but i don't think that my school does that i think you have to have a, a certain percentage in each category of course, you have to have a minimum overall or they're not going to take you regardless, but um, I don't think you can actually study three and then fail one. I don't know. I haven't looked into it yet. So anyway, I just wanted to um, just to hop on here and kind of talk about the teas this morning with you. And um, it's it's one of those things where people will tell you you should start studying three to six months in advance for the test. Um I am five weeks out, five or six weeks out from my test, and I'm starting to really panic because I have not done the studying the way I set myself up to, and so now I feel like I'm cramming everything, which, you know, I still have five weeks, so I'm not cramming, but for the amount of information and the score that I want to get, yeah, I've, I've, I've kind of messed myself up, so. Also, with those, with that month, three month out, six month out, they suggest regardless that you study three hours every single day for this test. Um, if you're wanting to really do well and to have no competition in your placement in your nursing program. So, um, you know, which who, that's what, like I'm, I'm going and this is my plan and I, I, I can't, I can't fail. I can't be on the, well, you're going to be in this pile over here and we'll look at you, but these are our for sure people. I can't be, I have to be in the for sure pile. So, um, cause that's just, I'm too old, you guys. <laughs> I'm too old, I need to go now. So anyway, it's all up to you what you do and how you choose to study, um, use your time to study. 
And so I'm behind, so I'm probably gonna be studying six hours every day for this test, in addition to the four hours that I have to study for my uh, micro class. So 10 hours a day plus class. It's, it's not gonna be easy, but I've done it to myself, so I have nobody to blame. I know I look wretched, whatever. It's my off day, I don't care. There's no makeup on my face. This is just how it is. This is real life. I won't even, I'm not trying to front with y'all. This is real life. So, um, anyway, if y'all have any questions, um, I'll try to answer them. Like, I'm on this journey with you too, so I may not know the answer, but I'll definitely look it up or ask somebody and get back with you. So, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below. And then, um, always subscribe and like my stuff, and that will just help me to go do some more. Um, and as always, I'll get back with you on the micro class um, to let you know what we did. We actually did lab the other day, and it was really interesting. We did the spectro something or other, basically, where you measure the wavelengths of um, light. And so how that applied to the nursing program was like during your, when you do blood analysis and urinalysis, it's kind of the same. I don't know. I have to do a report on it, a big, huge lab report. So I haven't even started that yet. We just got all of the um, scientific data down, and that's all I have so far. So anyway, I'll get back with you on that. So good luck to you. I hope everybody t passes their T's. And again, look for whoever, like I'm ATI T's. Make sure that you look for the official people that are doing this. That are making that test go usually you can type in and go straight to their website and they will tell you how to get their stuff and that's actually where I got this I mean you can get it other places I'm sure you can get it from Amazon but I went straight to the, the website that gave us the test and got this study guide so anyway good luck <laughs>